So I've been getting this question a lot. Should I buy the Pixel 9 or should I buy the Pixel 9 Pro slash Pro XL? And for whatever reason, by default, most people will try to tell you to buy the Google Pixel 9 because it's the exact same as the Pro, except you're missing out on just one camera. And it's really not quite that simple. So I'm gonna give you some real arguments and you can be the judge. So as you probably know, the Pixel 9 starts at $799 while the Pixel 9 Pro is just $200 more at $999. And then of course, for another $100, you can pick up the Pixel 9 Pro XL. But what are the actual key differences this year? And for the sake of making things easy, anytime I say Pixel 9 Pro, just assume I'm talking about the XL as well. So while both the 9 and 9 Pro have display sizes of 6.3 inches, only the Pro has the low temperature polycrystalline oxide or LTPO display. Simply put, LTPO displays are just more energy efficient, meaning that even though the phones are the same size, have the same battery, the Pro technically should have the better battery life. Another thing to note is that the variable refresh rate on the Pros drops as low as 1 Hz, while the regular 9 can only drop to 60. And finally, both displays are extremely bright and perfect for use in direct sunlight, but the Pro is currently the brightest smartphone ever, coming in with a peak brightness of 3000 nits. So as far as the display goes, the advantage is clearly in favor of the Pro. So now let's talk about the specs. The Pixel 9 has 12 gigabytes of RAM and only two storage options, 128 gigs or 256. The Pro on the other hand has 16 gigs of RAM and ranges in storage anywhere from 128 gig all the way up to one terabyte. And with all the crazy AI features that have been announced, those extra four gigs in the Pro are pretty much dedicated to AI. And with these phones now being supported for up to seven years, you can think of that extra four gigs of RAM as future proofing. So again, the advantage obviously goes to the Pro. Now, as far as the rear cameras go, this is where we start to see some parity because both phones are rocking the 50 megapixel F1.6 wide camera and 40 8 megapixel ultra wide f 1.7 which in my opinion is an awesome move by google because these are the two cameras that you'll probably be shooting with the most and google doesn't skimp out or under process things when it comes to the regular pixel 9 because when i put these images side by side it's hard to tell which camera's which so as we know the pro does come with that extra 48 megapixel telephoto with 5x optical zoom which admittedly it takes great photos and is extremely useful however in my opinion it's not the end of the world if you don't have it and when it comes to recording video on these rear cameras the pro is able to record up to 8k video and has a 20x super res zoom while the pixel 9 can only record 4k and has a 7x zoom but then again who really needs 8k recordings especially when you consider those limited storage options like 128 or 256 gig if that's what you chose and the image from the 20x zoom doesn't really look all that great anyway so you'd probably be using it sparingly the pixel 9 pro does however have a vastly improved front facing camera and it's a massive upgrade from last year's brutal 10.5 megapixel selfie cam which by the way didn't have autofocus so you would end up with a lot of grainy and just out of focus looking images like these. So on the pros, that front facing camera has been upgraded to a 42 megapixel selfie cam with autofocus that now takes fantastic photos and videos that rival the rear cameras. So as you can see, the 9 Pro got a massive improvement when it comes to that front camera, but unfortunately the regular 9 is still using last year's selfie cam. And because the Pixel 9 doesn't have that third camera, that means it's missing out on a lot of editing features like zoom enhance, video boost, and night sight video. But when you think about it, these are things that frankly we can still live without so in this category for the price i'll give the edge to the pixel 9 because you're still capable of some fantastic photos and videos but if you're someone that does like to use their front facing camera a lot then it's kind of a tough sell oh and if you made it this far in the video i truly appreciate you feel free to drop two black hearts down in the comments so i can thank you personally and if you vibe with the content consider hitting that subscribe button now the ai piece is where things get just a little interesting and i touched on it in my google pixel 9 pro excel review which i'll leave up here now obviously these phones have some pretty great ai capabilities for example you've got the new screenshot app, you've got the Pixel Reimagine app, the new AI weather synopsis, you've got Gemini Live, and the list goes on and on and on. And unlike many other companies, a lot of these AI features are things that are actually going to be practical and useful in your day-to-day. -day. So if you buy any of the Pro devices this year, the 9 Pro, the XL, or the Fold, Google rewards you by hooking you up with one free year of their Gemini Advanced platform. So it's the premium AI subscription that also includes two terabytes of cloud storage, among a ton of other perks. And remember, these phones with all their fantastic photo and video capabilities start off at just 128 gigs of storage so you're going to be hurting for that extra storage so now here's where things get a little cheeky to subscribe to gemini advance for one year will cost you 239 dollars and 88 cents and as we said earlier the price difference between the pixel 9 and the pixel 9 pro is just 200 dollars. so that means if you have any inclination to try out those ai features then buying the 9 pro just makes more sense it has an additional rear camera a better front facing camera more ram better storage options a brighter screen more zoom options 
options and more editing tools. And for all those things, it just costs you an additional $200 and you'll still get two terabytes of cloud storage and one year of Gemini Advanced. So when you really think about it, for those of you interested in the AI stuff, you're technically saving $40 by upgrading to the Pro. The value is boosted even further because you can share the plan with up to four family members. So for example, I use it on my personal Gmail and I share it with my business Gmail. Hopefully Google doesn't find out and kibosh that. <laughs> So in my opinion, when you break it down like that, it pretty much makes it a no brainer as to which one you should consider buying. Unless somehow, some way you absolutely don't care about photos and you absolutely don't care about any of the AI stuff, then yeah, stick with the regular nine. But for everybody else, the pro just makes more sense, especially now with the two size options of the pro. If you're someone that just doesn't like big phones, you can still get all of those great things on the regular nine pro, which again is 6.3 inches. Okay. So let's quickly look at a couple comments from the last video. So lose my focus said, I definitely use my SIM tool on the speaker shaking my head. I tried to save as many people as I could, but unfortunately not everyone's going to see my review before they unbox their own phone. And Troy Campbell, 1781 says, I agree. The regular pixel buyer should get Gemini for at least six months free or more. And I know I touched on this in my review, but I honestly don't think that it's fair that you buy a pro, you get one free year of Gemini, you buy anything else and you're pretty much cooked. I think these new Gemini AI capabilities are so great that they should be trying to get it into as many people's hands as possible. So it would have been cool if the regular Pixel 9 did get like at least three months. But anyway, appreciate all of you who are able to make it this far. I've got the Pixel 9 Pro XL day in the life dropping this week. So make sure you get subbed up for that. But that's pretty much it for me. Much love as always, throwing up two of them and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.